Indonesian Agrarian Affairs and Special Planning Ministry in collaboration with KFW Development Bank and the European Union held an international conference in Jakarta on September 17. The forum focused on improving land acquisition in complex tenurial settings, exploring ways to balance speed, fairness, and certainty in the process. The event brought together policymakers and experts from both local and international levels to discuss the latest challenges and opportunities in assessing social impacts during land acquisition and infrastructure development. Minister Agus Harimurti Yudhoyono expressed hopes that dialogue among stakeholders will lead to new policies and innovations for resolving land issues. We want to have uh, certainty for our people and we need to assess everything thoroughly before we can develop infrastructure all over the country. Land is the foundation for any development, so we must make sure in uh, terms of land acquisition, we must uh, carry out uh, uh, using the correct procedure and we must uh, guarantee that our people, especially the marginalized people, the poor, uh, the most vulnerable people are really respected and uh, they receive uh, proper treatment because we want development for everybody, justice for all, prosperity for all. So that's the, uh, the basic uh, ideas, the, the, the most fundamental uh, aspects of development. So our ministry uh, is, is uh, responsible to uh, provide certainty for everybody but also fairness for everybody. Minister Agus emphasized that national strategic projects rely heavily on effective land acquisition, supported by laws that uphold humanitarian, democratic, and fair principles. Indonesian government has guaranteed land availability through a fair acquisition process, as outlined in Law Number no. 2 of 2012 and Law Number no. 6 of 2023. Additionally, the Ministry is working on land registration scheme as part of the 2020 to 2024 National Medium Term Development Plan. Here in Indonesia, it's very encouraging to, to see that uh, ATR BPN is now developing its own ministerial guidelines and I congratulate you on that. These guidelines will be the foundation for training social experts, examining budgets, better managing social risks, and uh, enhancing, maximizing positive impacts in a, in a very structured way. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to confirm the World Bank's commitment to supporting your endeavor to build these guidelines and implement the guidelines into the future. The World Bank reaffirmed its commitment to supporting Indonesia in strengthening social impact assessment for land acquisition. And the conference aims to offer valuable insights from other countries and generate policy recommendations tailored to Indonesia development context. Varian Bahri, Hanif Abdul for C Today.